So was that was that when you knew you wanted to be an author? Had you an inkling before that? Well, you know, I wanted to do a lot of creative things. I wanted to be a writer, but I also wanted to be an artist. I wanted to be a rock star. I wanted to be a composer. You know, I, I wanted to do all of these different creative things. Writing emerged as the thing that I was most passionate about. And that really started to, you know, rise above all the other things I was interested in doing when I was in college. Uh, I used to write a, a humor column for my school paper at UC Irvine, and it got to be very well known over the, the four years that I wrote it. And so every week I had to turn in, I had to turn in a column and it had to be funny. And, uh, and I just really enjoyed sort of being this minor collegiate celebrity at the school, you know, because everybody would read the column, but not everybody knew who I was. So I would walk around the school and see people snickering and reading my column when they're opening the newspaper. And it's kind of like, I was kind of incognito. Uh, and I was, I was a theater major and, uh, and the psychology major. I was, I was doing a lot of theater back then. But uh, what I noticed was that there were theater people who were theater people. I mean, this was their life. For me, it wasn't my life. I just enjoyed it. But you know what I enjoyed more was I enjoyed writing plays that other people would perform. And so I realized that the written word was really my passion. And that's, you know, and I went from there. So psychology and theater was the original plan to be just an actor who also does psychology on the side or... Well, you know, by the time I, I, I decided what my majors were going to be, I, I pretty much knew that I wanted to be a writer, uh, but I didn't want to be an English major because everybody I knew who wanted to be a writer was an English major, and I didn't want to be just like one among many. Also, I hated the idea of writing analytical essays. I just wanted to, I just wanted to do the fiction. So I took basically all of the uh, fiction writing courses that the school offered to the, to the point that they didn't have any more to offer me. So I ended up doing independent study with the head of the writing program there, uh, Oakley Hall, who is like, was like the guru of the, the UCI writing program. And it was when it was the number one writing program in the country. That was a graduate program, but I was an undergrad. But uh, I was doing independent study with the guy, you know, who was the, the running this program. Uh, little did I know, you know, that I was, I was, uh, being mentored by, by uh, you know, one of the greatest writing teachers, you know, of all time. So it was really a fantastic experience. But when it came to the majors, I figured, you know, uh, psychology is the science of the mind and behavior. And theater is the art of the mind and behavior. And I thought those would go together really well in terms of uh, writing. So I was always, I was interested in the human mind and I was interested in, 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 uh, and, you know, the, the whole theatrical aspect of, of uh, you know, of not just acting, but just the, the experience of, uh, of, of performance. So uh, I think they went together very well. Well, I assume that that's all skills that you're continuing to use uh, today as you're speaking with me. Anytime you're going out and giving a, a presentation, I mean, that's all your, your theatrical training coming to play, right? Yeah, I, I, get, I get to do the uh, one-man show all the time, so I'm still using still using that, uh, that uh, theater. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, my books are all dramatic and psychological. So it's kind of all, you know, all works together. And you have gone on to kind of do a little bit of everything. I mean, obviously, uh, books are, are a big part of your life, but you've also done screenwriting, you've written for the stage. Um, you've done, you've recorded your own audiobooks. I assume if you wanted to start your own podcast, you could do that tomorrow and have a lot of listeners. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have a meeting, a Zoom meeting tomorrow about the possibility of doing a podcast. So that's uh, that's exciting. I always I always want to do you know new things and try something new. Uh, so yeah, but yeah, there's there's a lot of things. I'm always trying to to you know to to expand and do different things. I love doing the audios. I, I did the audio of the Schwa was here and Ancy does time. Uh, I, I got to be I got to be more Brooklyn in that. You know, I I, I sort of brought back my. My, my childhood because I grew up in Brooklyn and so I kind of just brought that back when I was uh, when I was doing that character uh, which was hard to get out of when I'm done with the day I still have you know it's, it's, it's still coming out Brooklynese uh, and then with the short story collections with the unbound and now with gleanings I've had the opportunity to do several of the short stories in the audiobooks and that's and that's a lot of fun because it's uh, I, and I kind of get to pick and choose which stories I read. And so I, I really enjoy doing that. 
Well, obviously, if you're just doing it's still very early on and what type of podcast you might do, but have you thought about maybe doing just like a narrative podcast or is it you sitting down and interviewing folks or is even saying that giving away too much? Uh, you know, I don't know. There, there was uh, one of the things that I was thinking of is, you know, there's un unlike the publishing publishing industry, I have uh, a lot of, uh, you know, I, the, the books, when I get when I write them, they get published. When it comes to the entertainment industry, you write a script, even if it sells, it doesn't mean it's going to get made. So I have dozens of scripts that just have not been produced. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun if I did a podcast that were kind of like uh, uh, readings of these scripts that aren't produced for, for my fans who like my other work, they'll get to see uh, some, some projects that otherwise would not see the light of day. So that's, a, that's an idea that I have. I'm not sure whether I'm going to go with that, but that's something I've been thinking of. Oh, well, fingers crossed. That sounds like a great program.